hi friends welcome back to cadible and uh, today we will create uh, uh, a 2d drawing uh, using this uh, 3d model and uh, i have already created this uh, 3d model which you can download from uh, uh, description link and uh, this is the practice exercise one uh, model and now uh, today we will create uh, its uh, uh, 2d drawing just hide these uh, dimensions in 3d and uh, i'll show you uh, first i'll show you the part let's say go to a design tree and here is the part a simple extrude boss and then another extrude boss then i have used a rip command here and a couple of chamfers here and here and lastly uh, extrude cut uh, so here is the part is a very simple part and uh, uh, here we'll create its uh, simple uh, 2d drawing and uh, we'll use uh, some basic uh, uh, commands uh, so uh, first of all i'll go to here uh, make trying from part or assembly just click this and here we are using a part so just click this and it will take some time uh, here a, a window is pop up and uh, it is showing the standard sheet size and it's up to us uh, here we can create a custom sheet size as well and uh, we can change its width and height uh, but I, I think it's better to go standard sheet size here we can browse uh, different uh, sheet sizes and i think i'll go to uh, a4 landscape and here is the a4 uh, landscape just select this and select open and just click ok so here is my standard uh, drawing sheet and uh, uh, here is the uh, view palette and uh, if uh, it is missing or if it is not showing all the views just go and uh, just refresh this right and uh, i think i'll uh, uh, i'll use this right view and uh, then uh, this top view and then this uh, side view and uh, lastly this 3d view right uh, just cancel the other views and uh, these three uh, views that is right view uh, that is top view right view or front view and this side view these are connected as you can see if I drag this so it is connected with this uh, right view and if I uh, drag this uh, it is connected with this view but the uh, 3d view is not connected and uh, here I can break this line but uh, I think it's better uh, uh, that they are linked just drag this and uh, drag this to here a little bit and uh, it is fine here we can change the scale and here we have uh, uh, two options uh, either we can go and here uh, we can change the scale let's suppose uh, 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 let's suppose 1 is to 2 and here you can see this scale is changed for this particular top view right just uh, uh, make sure to ch uh, change it to 1 is to 1 again here I can uh, change the scale uh, to uh, let's say 1 is to 2 to all the uh, dimensions and here as you can see that these uh, 3 uh, has changed its scale because I have this uh, I have not selected this just uh, make it uh, make sure to uh, change it to 1 is to 1 again but I think for for this drawing and uh, for this page size uh, it is fine right uh, also uh, I'll change this 3d view to uh, shade it with edges because I'll not give dimension uh, to this uh, 3d view and uh, uh, I'll uh, check this high quality and press ok so uh, uh, all uh, views are generated and uh, here we have uh, two options uh, either uh, we have to uh, give uh, uh, manual dimensions and uh, here uh, uh, I can also choose uh, uh, model items and uh, select the uh, entire model and select OK. So it will give me automatically all dimensions, right? Uh, here uh, uh, it is showing uh, uh, it's a quite messy, and uh, I'll just uh, press Ctrl Z 
and I'll give them uh, 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 I'll give them uh, uh, dimensions manually and uh, here we have another option uh, because uh, you, uh, you cannot see the hidden lines of the strip so uh, go to this model and uh, make sure to check this uh, hidden lines visible and here you can see this uh, uh, this uh, uh, center mark go to this uh, right view again select this click ok and here you can see the hidden lines in this area right uh, here uh, uh, let's say I want to uh, make uh, a, a section view uh, for this and uh, just select this and uh, select ok and uh, just click ok and here is the section view of this uh, uh, top view and uh, I think uh, uh, it's better to place this view here right uh, here I can choose uh, partial section I can choose slice section and uh, auto etching and here, here we have uh, uh, many options uh, just select ok and here is my uh, section view right uh, you can uh, delete this view right or uh, you can choose uh, both views it's up to you but I think it's better to delete this view here because I have this view and uh, uh, let's say I want to uh, uh, I want this uh, detail view of this uh, part let's say this and uh, here is the detail view of this uh, line and here I can dimension it right uh, we can uh, uh, we can choose no outline we can choose full outline we can choose a jagged outline and it's up to us right just click ok and uh, here it is also showing the scale of this uh, uh, detail uh, view and uh, uh, here we have uh, uh, many options like broken out section view, auxiliary view, uh, that is uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's up to some angle, right? Uh, so uh, let's go to let's say uh, annotation and let's uh, dimension our model. Uh, let's say the dimension from this line to this line is uh, uh, 30 millimeters and uh, the dimension of this uh, circle is let's say uh, 15 millimeters and uh, just cancel this uh, the dimension of uh, let's say uh, this side is 12 millimeters and uh, the dimension of uh, uh, let's say uh, 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 now we have another uh, important uh, option uh, in, in fact another feature dimension that is a uh, chamfer and uh, if I go to smart dimension and here uh, we have chamfer dimension because it is a feature that's why I am using this just select this this line and this line and here it is uh, uh, giving us uh, uh, chamfer dimension just like ok and uh, here let's say go to smart dimension again and uh, the dimension from this to this is uh, 15 millimeters and here it is showing the same uh, uh, diameter uh, dimension just cancel this because I have this dimension already in this view and uh, let's say this dimension is 21 uh, uh, mm and uh, let's say the dimension from this to this is 9 mm which is the same as this uh, chamfer dimension and uh, the dimension is 33 mm this dimension is let's say uh, 47 mm so here uh, I can uh, uh, just select the line and uh, make sure to uh, uh, dimension each and every uh, view uh, which is required uh, here we have another very important option and that is uh, uh, let's say if i want to uh, give uh, a tolerance to uh, this dimension just go back to this dimension again and here we have uh, let's say a tolerance precision option and here I can have let's say basic or uh, uh, reference dimension and here we have uh, uh, bilateral uh, tolerances that is uh, if I want to go uh, uh, in plus side uh, plus uh, 0.05 and in negative side uh, let's say um, minus 0 
and is click ok so here is uh, my dimensions uh, that is bilateral uh, different in positive side and different negative side uh, it could be same as well let's say if i go to this dimension 12 and i'll go to let's say uh, bilateral and uh, let's change it to let's say plus uh, 0 0.01 and in negative side same 0 0.01 let's click okay so uh, here is the same uh, dimension that is plus uh, 0 0.01 and minus 0 0.01 here i can uh, choose a symmetric dimension if i want uh, this kind of uh, uh, dimension just go to this uh, dimension again and uh, just select the symmetric and uh, let's say it's uh, 0 0.05 right so uh, we have uh, so many uh, uh, kind of options and uh, uh, here we have uh, so many uh, symbols uh, machining symbols like uh, uh, surface finish just click this and uh, just click this and uh, uh, let's say if i want a smooth finish so i can choose uh, three and uh, let's say i want a smooth finish on this uh, side and just click this and uh, just drag here right in fact uh, cancel this uh, press k delete this and just drag this to uh, here uh, here uh, if uh, let's suppose if i want uh, this rib to be welded with this wall so i'll use this weld symbol and uh, here we have uh, so many kind of uh, uh, tolerances uh, option like uh, geometric tolerance and here i'm not going into the details of this because it is uh, uh, it is a separate uh, uh, topic here uh, uh, I'll, uh, I'm using simple uh, uh, simple kind of dimensions and uh, here we uh, let's say if I want uh, center line between this uh, this line and this line so select the center line select this line in fact this line and this line and a center line is created uh, just delete this uh, let's create this uh, uh, lastly in fact uh, just go to uh, drawing and let's say I want to make a let's say a section view of uh, this and uh, just select ok just select ok and here is my section view right just select ok and uh, here I can uh, give uh, give them uh, a suitable dimension let's say dimension from here to here is 22 and dimension from here to here is let's say 57.5 and uh, just, uh, just drag this to uh, here here i cannot drag because these all views are connected so i have to drag this view and uh, now you can see i can drag this right uh, lastly uh, let's uh, uh, here i can drag this view because it is not connected and let's say i want to drag this view to here right uh, let's say uh, i want uh, <coughs> uh, here we have uh, uh, let's say <coughs> uh, a hall call out uh, and uh, uh, if you are using uh, uh, some kind of holes like this so here i can use this whole column uh, here i can uh, let's say uh, i can use uh, uh, text uh, for example if i want uh, to uh, uh, to uh, to make a note so just select like this <coughs> and here i can create a note uh, let's say <coughs> um, let's say uh, cad able drawing uh, drawing one and uh, here I can uh, change its font as well let's say four and uh, it should be bold right and uh, just uh, just like okay so uh, uh, here I can create uh, uh, notes and uh, I can create any kind of uh, view uh, lastly here we have uh, uh, this kind of uh, a uh, let's say a drawing number title uh, and uh, here I can change this 
let's say I go to a sheet format and I'll go to edit sheet format yeah, I can edit my sheet format and uh, let's say I can drag this to here uh, here it is showing practice exercise one because I have downloaded this uh, from my GrabCan account and uh, here is the uh, name of that file that is practice exercise one and uh, here I can uh, let's say choose material let's say uh, let's uh, change it to stainless steel and uh, let's say a36 the grade of uh, in fact mild steel the grade of mild steel is uh, a36 and uh, let's select ok and uh, i can create a uh, name of the uh, uh, drawing person and uh, let's say change it to uh, ibrahim omar in fact uh, uh, in fact ibrahim and, uh, and the person who is checking the drawing and the person who is approving the drawing the uh, manufacturing person and the quality assurance person and uh, here is the date you can change the date and uh, uh, here I can uh, uh, here I can uh, write the weight of this uh, part uh, drawing number let's say uh, drawing number is uh, DWG001 here can you, uh, uh, you can create uh, and you can edit your uh, uh, sheet format so uh, let's go back and here is my uh, drawing uh, lastly uh, I'll go to save and I'll go to save as and just select yes and uh, here is the SOLIDWORKS uh, here it is saving as SOLIDWORKS drawing format but if you want to uh, print your drawing uh, make sure to change it to uh, change it to in a PDF format right so here we can uh, uh, here we have so many options like SOLIDWORKS drawing uh, Adobe, uh, Adobe Photoshop uh, and uh, DXF and DWG uh, but I always choose uh, 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 PDF adopt uh, uh, portable document format just like this and select ok so uh, my drawing is uh, saved and uh, uh, lastly uh, if I want to print this uh, just go to this option go to uh, print uh, uh, preview and uh, here it is showing uh, uh, print preview uh, just clo uh, close this and uh, go to uh, page setup and here it is showing a four size and uh, in uh, uh, landscape so uh, i can print this if my uh, uh, my pc is connected to uh, let's say printer so select ok so uh, that's it for uh, uh, today's tutorial i hope you like it and uh, if you have any questions any queries related to this uh, drawing uh, or uh, uh, any other uh, a tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more uh, informative videos thank you